In The Matrix Resurrections, is Trinity the one? And why does Jada Pinkett Smith's Niobe seem to be so old? Let's plug into The Matrix and dig into the details. Since the first trailer's release, speculation has circulated as to what Jonathan Groff's involvement in The Matrix Resurrections would be. His character was seen near the end of the initial preview in a mic-dropping meta moment. To be going back to where it all started. Back to The Matrix. In that first trailer, the character certainly gave off a huge bad guy vibe. Now, following this all-new preview, there's a lot to suggest that the former Mindhunter could well be an upgraded version of the agents that Neo once faced before. Firstly, there's the near-pitch-perfect impersonation of Hugo Weaving's straight-faced baddie and a necktie Agent Smith. He also refers to Neo as Mr. Anderson, the name that Smith used to mock Neo's transition to Digital Messiah. Could his part in this new chapter of The Matrix be an advanced version of the Smith program? One that saw the real world and managed to make his way back to the prison he couldn't stand the smell of? If so, it suits Groff perfectly. Neo may be the chosen one, but Trinity gets a fair amount of attention in the final trailer for The Matrix Resurrections. Compared to the previous two sequels, the trailer suggests that this time around, Neo's not the one in the driver's seat. There's one line in the second trailer that seems to make this clear. The most important choice in Neo's life is not his to make. This is followed by Neo stating, She believed in me. It's my turn to believe in her. Since Neo's first awakening as the One happened because Trinity believed in him, it seems safe to assume that Neo's referring to Trinity here. The remainder of the trailer also centers heavily on her, and we don't think that's an accident. If this is a new version of The Matrix, is it possible that Trinity's the new One? Seen briefly in the last teaser with a copy of Alice in Wonderland, Priyanka Chopra's as-yet-unnamed character has a few more things to say on the film's current events and, more importantly, Neo's involvement in it all. But who is this person to have a say in our hero's future? Is she new to the scene, or could she be someone from his past? One common theory is that Chopra Jonas is playing an older version of Sati, a character who originally appeared in The Matrix Revolutions. Sati was a program that looked like a child, built without purpose by her parents who were smuggled into The Matrix by the Oracle. For her part, the Oracle believed Sati would play a massive part in the future both for the machines and humanity. Could this be the role the Oracle saw for her? That's a secret. Got to use your hands. Why? Cookies need love like everything does. Debuting in The Matrix Reloaded, Niobe, portrayed by Jada Pinkett Smith, played a critical role in the events of the second two Matrix films. Although her character took on a supporting role in the movies, she was featured prominently as a main character in the video game tie-in Enter the Matrix, which was written by the Wachowskis and is considered to be canonical. The 2003 video game fleshed out the character along with her co-pilot Ghost and showed how critical their actions were in making sure Neo, Morpheus, and Trinity's plans come to fruition. Niobe was able to survive the onslaught of the machines at the end of Matrix Revolutions, and her character embraced a newfound peace between machines and humanity. In the new Matrix Resurrection trailer, we see a woman who seems to be an older Niobe, a much older Niobe, which raises questions about when the sequel is supposed to take place. Whether she's the Niobe we remember, or a computer program, or a new character entirely played by the same actress, we have no idea. Either way, no shot in the trailer makes it clearer just how much time has passed since the story of The Matrix started. I don't know if you're ready to see what I want to show you. In the original Matrix film, scenes taking place within The Matrix tend to be tinted green, whereas scenes set in the real world are largely dark blue or gray in color. This was especially prominent in Reloaded and Revolutions, when both Neo and the audience were fully aware of the artificial nature of The Matrix's reality. In the trailers for The Matrix Resurrections, though, the shots that seem to take place in a version of The Matrix are saturated with a distinct blue color. Rather than recalling the cold and gray real world of the original three Matrix films, this color seems more representative of the blue pill famously presented to Neo in the first Matrix film. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Since the first trailer for The Matrix Resurrections showed Neo taking what seemed to be a daily dose of blue pills, it seems like this movie's false reality might be an artificial world that, for Neo at least, is in need of constant reinforcement. One exception to the prominence of blue shades in what seems to be The Matrix occurs during a haunting shot in the second trailer that seems to show Neo walking off the edge of a building. In this shot, Neo looks to be choosing to defy the reality around him with a leap of faith, as desperate onlookers scream and reach for him. As Neo walks toward the sunlight on the left side of the frame, the clothing on the people and the colors of the chairs behind them seem to be an equal mix of red and blue, perhaps indicating Neo's gradual turn away from a blue-pilled way of thinking. This red-blue mix also seems to be at play in the trailer shots of the red pods that hold the bodies of people plugged into the Matrix. 
the towers have human batteries that Morpheus originally described in the first movie. In the trailer shots of these people pods, the colors blue and red co-mingle, seeming to demonstrate a clash between the false reality of the machines and the real world beyond the Matrix. While the fourth Matrix movie seems to be a continuation of the previous story, it appears that it will once again involve the deconstruction of a false reality in which Neo and Trinity have become somehow entangled. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. The reality that Neo seems to be trapped in during the Matrix Resurrections could very well represent a state of blissful ignorance, with the machines or some other force keeping Neo sedated in a fake world for reasons we don't know yet. That idea of ignorance would also explain why Neo doesn't seem to have any memory of the events we know occurred with him before. From what we've seen of Resurrections, making Neo remember what happened in the past seems to be key to the story's future. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.